What's up guys, it's your boy Jason Pyx4 here. Before we begin, I need to just inform you guys that time is winding down and there hasn't been that many Q&A questions. So, if you have some questions, again, go to this video, comment under that video, and then just type up your question. Because again, we don't want a boring ass Q&A and I'm pretty sure that no one wants to see just three questions from a q and I, I, I'm pretty sure nobody wants that. So. Just make sure again, go out your, go out of your way, do your thing, answer, ask a question under that video. It will be even in the description of this one. So just go out and just do it. All right, good. Anyway, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Jason Hikes Four here, and today we gotta talk about the potential murder game, uh, Danganronpa Four, maybe potentially possibly could come out anyway so there was a article an interview recently with the creator of Danganronpa and basically he was saying that Danganronpa could potentially come back after V3 he never saw it as a finished series so you know there could be another story to tell so let's talk about that and why not? So, because why not? So, uh, this is going to go into spoiler territories, especially if you never played V3 or never finished V3 at all. This is still purely speculation. All we know at this point is that they, that him and Spike and themselves have been trying to work on something, but we don't know what that something is. But that's all. So, basically, we're gonna get a whole nother killing game potentially in the future which is depressingly awesome because and i say depressingly because i don't want to see another waifu get body like how it was with kaede and chiaki and if you picked the wrong choice kyoko i don't want to see that no more so you know it, it's gonna be kind of trash but it'll be kind of awesome at the same time because you know more characters new story being told here and you know more sexy female characters hopefully okay because like recently all we know is that the creator Danganronpa have been making like had made another anime like Akumada Drive I believe and that was you know his project for a while and still going I think maybe is it off now I don't know but it it, it kind of is a bit kind of surprising but not really surprising to hear this and the only thing I would have to say is when it comes to Danganronpa 4, the only thing about it is yeah, I have the question is, yeah, where the hell do you go with the story at this point? I mean, I made a theory video way back when with Persona 5 and the shared universe theory with Danganronpa, but and you can go watch that video because that was a really good theory. I'm surprised that it blew up the way it did. But anyway, I was talking about it and that was a possibility but you know there could be other things that i may not even thought about like the entirety of danganronpa v3 was a lie it could potentially be that way honestly it would make sense i kind of hope it is a lie mainly because you better not tell me that all this time i invested in shiaki and kaede and all the other people all this time you better not tell me that hey they never existed so no need to worry about it anyway just don't do that, please. I don't need the game to get even any more meta than it was. That when it brought out all the actual realistic comments that people would actually say about the series, when that was just on screen all the time and that was the ending of E3, like I don't want to see that to happen again. Like we I don't want to see Danganronpa get meta and then just throw this underlining fact at us. And it just screws up the entire series for me personally so none of that please i know he said it's when his v3 was his best work but i just can't get behind that ending like i can understand it and i can even vibe with it at times but i can't get behind that ending not to mention samugi was kind of crap i mean all the other times junko was the villain every time and then she was always like, as a villain, she could always tell us some Junko BS that's about to happen. Like, Junko was, you know, 
being a deranged lunatic by destroying the entire world in the end and then being so calculated about it and then in D2 was being calculated when trapping Hajime into that world and then realizing that it's not actually Hajime but someone else inside of Hajime that is about to be on some shady stuff and they don't fix it fast. She's always been calculated. That's my thing with Junko. Junko has always been the most calculated villain in this entire game. The only villain in this entire game. So when Samugi came out and just said, oh, this is just a reality show, it felt sloppy. It feels like Junko wouldn't do that. She wouldn't be this front with you, like super upfront with you. She would be calculated. She's that type of villain. She would mess with your brain. If there was any sliver of a chance where she would lose in an like in a situation it'll be feeling like an unpredictable one like how it was with Dangan too. No but I don't think a lot of people saw that coming that with what happened with Hajime unless you played Ultra Despair Girls first but I don't think anybody saw that with what happened to Hajime. I don't think that's true. Sumugi really just kind of it just tarnished Junko's intellectual side and name really because Junko has always been this calculated, evil, badass, and sexy villain. Like, she always have been this, and then when Samugi gave it a try, it was so obviously not Junko. It was, again, I can totally see it, I can totally see if they said Danger Rampa V3 was a lie and all of it was a lie, because really, the games haven't set up with truth in the first game, and then lie slash truth in the second game and then a complete lie in the third game if it is a lie that means shuichi maki and himiko never really escaped that situation nothing really actually happened there that because that story was completely fake again there's a lot of things that's thrown the question here like how did the movie create a whole nother world like she's not like a persona 5 character she can't do that so what the hell but that's never explained and just wrote off as oh it's just a lie it's all fiction like it's a kumagawa masogi head ass so like i ain't trying to give me some information here so when it really comes down to it whatever day in four comes out or whenever it gets revealed and whatever just don't make the game meta don't make it any type of v3 nonsense and if you gotta lie about v3 just just lie about v3 about it, about it ever happening because honestly it's kind of not great and hopefully if this may be the last game then let this be the most best piece of work that everybody can agree with that this was even better than d2 because d2 is king of all of the dang and rumpa games and i would like to see it get topped but that's all i want to talk about in this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to like sure to subscribe let me know what are you guys thinking about dang it for when when do you think it could come out and when and what do you think the story would be let me know in the comments below also also go ahead and follow me on twitter tiktok and donate to the channel if you would like to and until then it's me and boy j signing off have a blessed day